St. Agnes School. Today I will be reading The Pirate of Kindergarten. This story was written by George Ella Lyon and it was illustrated by Lynn Avril. And a fun fact, George Ella Lyon, the author, when Miss O'Brien was a little girl, he visited her school. So I thought that was kind of cool that I'm reading you all a story that the author came to my school when I was a little girl. So let's find out about the Pirate of Kindergarten. Jenny loved Reading Circle. Getting there was hard though with all those chairs. She knew only half of them were real, but which ones? She always ran into some and someone always laughed. It's not very nice. Jenny loved reading anyway, and, oh, she loved reading anyway from the big book Miss Cleo held in her lap, or the flip chart she pointed to with a stick, or, best of all, from the book Jenny held in her hands. It is really special when your teacher reads your special book. Jenny stuck her nose in the fold of the book. Jenny, Miss Cleo said, we read with our eyes, not our noses. But Jenny's eyes played tricks. She read, cat, cat, ran, ran, fast, fast. She thought everyone saw this way. She didn't know they were tricks. Poor Jenny's eyes, that must hurt. When other kids laughed, Jenny really tightened her mind. The way you tie a knot with a rope. Then she could remember to read only cat ran fast. But after that, she'd get afraid and read it again, only softer. So softer means quiet. And then Miss Cleo's hand was resting on Jenny's head as she said, just once, Jenny, we read it just once. If Jenny closed her eye, if Jenny closed one eye, she only saw one word. But Miss Cleo said, don't squint. Numbers hopped around like popcorn. When she looked at the chart, or the board, or the book, she saw twice as many. Twos like swans, and threes like bees, and big-bellied sixes, as the other kids saw. Jenny liked their shapes. She liked to draw them, and she liked to color. Scissors, oh, scissors were tricky. If she didn't keep her mind tight, when Miss Cleo gave them rabbit pictures, she might cut out one ear and another and another. Once she got so mad, she stuck the scissors in the paste. Carl told on her. Miss Cleo said, a three-eared bunny, original, and just wash the scissors, Jenny. That's a nice teacher. This time, the teacher patted Carl's hand and said, mind your own bunnies, she said. Then came vision screening day. Jenny was a little scared when they lined up to go into the gym. She did fine at first, 
reading letters on the white chart. The nurse put a black spoon over one eye and asked her to name the letters. She could do that. With one eye, she saw only one. It was the same when he covered the other eye. But when the nurse said, now use both, Jenny froze. He pointed to the row of letters. If they had been words, she would have read just once. But the letters by themselves were a jumble. The nurse tapped the chart again. This line, please. Jenny said all she could say. She said what she saw. He pointed to the next line. Jenny read it the same way. The nurse's voice was gentle. Do you see two? Jenny nodded. Do you see two of me, he asked. She nodded again. Do you know, the nurse asked, that most people see only one me? Jenny started to cry. Poor Jenny. Miss Cleo appeared and put a hand on Jenny's shoulder. What's wrong, she asked. This child has double vision, the nurse explained. She needs to go to a doctor for her eyes. He looked at Jenny. This can be fixed, so you'll see only one. The next week, Jenny's mother took her to Dr. Claire. He had Jenny look through special lenses in a dark room. It didn't hurt, but it made her a little dizzy. When they were finished, Dr. Claire said, Good news! I don't think you'll need an operation. Just exercises, glasses, and for a while, a patch. He reached in a drawer and handed Jenny two patches. One on a band that went around her head and one that would snap onto her glasses. You pick out some frames, Dr. Claire said, and wear the patch till you come back next week. Jenny's mother helped her put it on. Now there was just one of everything and she didn't have to squint. Yay! So Jenny became a kindergarten pirate who could do numbers and scissors, who could climb the rigging of the playground fast and read and read and read. And take her place in the circle without knocking over a single chair. The end. I love this story. I think it's very important to talk about vision and you gotta tell people when you see more than one of something because Miss O'Brien learned that lesson when she was little. I didn't always have glasses, but I couldn't see the board and my teacher would get mad at me. But then when I realized when I went to the eye doctor, I had vision issues and that's okay. That's not your fault. It's no one's fault. So that's why we have doctors. They can help us. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful story. I know I did. And as always, keep reading and keep learning.